What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with another top 6 and today we are taking a look at top 6 creatures you can use to tame all the other creatures on Ark. Now essentially these creatures are going to be creatures that induce torpor that you can use to carry and freight creatures to other locations to make it easier for you to knock out and whatnot. So let's jump straight into the list and start off with number 6. Coming in at number 6 we have the Paki. Now, this guy here is rather good. People underestimate him, but he's a really good starter tank for when you're first starting out on the Ark for the island, for example. Since Equuses are rather hard to find, this guy can be your first herbivore that you can use to knock out other creatures. Now, you can see we're surrounded by Gallimimuses, and the Paki actually has a headbutt ability that does torpor damage, and it continuously runs until it hits an object or runs out of stamina, or until you press the cancel key. Now, the great thing about the Paki is that obviously he does deal the torpor damage, but if you have one of these guys running around with you. you can obviously use that attack to sprint towards something or if you're the player you can easily bowl what you're trying to tame however if they are larger than bowlable creatures well you can still put up a fight granted your packy has enough health and melee damage but the packy here is easily able to, well not easily but it is able to knock out other creatures using its torpor attack it has the headbutt it has the big ramming attack it does torpor damage if you don't kill the creature first. Gallimimuses are on the weaker side of things, so obviously they are a terrible creature to showcase the Paki's ability on. So we're going to bring in some more creatures just to showcase to you guys how well the Paki is able to knock out other things. Now you can see here we have a turtle in front of us. This guy is a level 95, so he will take a very long time to knock out. But you can do it with the Paki. You essentially just have to tank the damage, much like the Scorpion, applying it every 10 seconds to the creature, and that allows you to deal Torpor damage. Now, like I said, these guys are good for base starting creatures if you want to try and tame stuff up without having to use many of the resources. That is why he's lower on this list at number 6, because there are obviously better creatures further down the list that are capable of knocking out creatures more so easier than the Paki. However, the Paki is still a great starting mount to knock things out. However, you do want to try and target the lower leveled creatures because that will make it a lot easier on you to knock them out and tame them. So that is why the Paki is number six on this list. At number five, he's a little bit hard to see, but we have the Palmio Scorpius, otherwise known as the Scorpion. Now, obviously, this guy is known for tranking creatures without having to use any narcotics or whatnot, using his bare bone abilities, which is absolutely splendid for the guy. He is rather useful. Obviously, he does deal torpor damage as well, much like the Paki. However, the Scorpion does deal slightly more torpor damage to its victims. Do take note that if you increase the Scorpion's melee damage, you will actually increase the amount of torpor that the creatures take. However, much like the Paki, you actually have to wait 10 seconds before you can reapply the torpor with the Scorpion. So you do have to make sure that these creatures are bowled up and that they aren't presenting much of a danger or threat to you or your Scorpion. Now, Scorpions do have their capabilities of being able to take down Rexes. However, the only uh, downside with that is that obviously they have to be very tanky and they have to hit like a truck. Now, if you don't believe me about the Scorpions, well, too bad, you should, because I have successfully knocked out a, uh, what are they called, Quetzals again, with the Scorpion and RG method, setting the Scorpion on aggressive and flying around with the RG, and getting the Scorpion to actually sting the Quetzal. I have managed to do this successfully, so do not doubt me on my abilities and the Scorpion's abilities to knock creatures out. Quetzals are known to have one of the largest torpor pools, so I guarantee you that if you bring a Scorpion to a trike fight, the Scorpion will successfully knock out the trike if you give it the correct amount of timing in between strikes. And you can see here, the Scorpion definitely has the ability to knock things out. Obviously, this is only a Dillo, so its uh, torpor strain isn't very large. However, you do have to wait the 10 seconds, but you can see here, the Dillo has easily been knocked out by the Scorpion. You can essentially do this for any creature, you just have to make sure that you give the 10 second time in between each strike. And that is why the Scorpion is number 5 on this list. Now, coming in at number 5, the Equus definitely takes the cake in terms of dealing the most damage with its attacks in terms of Torpor. The Equus is a great mount to begin with, to start with, especially if you're on Ragnarok, as you can spawn in the Highlands, you can easily get into the uh, farm that's on the Highlands and get carrots to be able to tame up yourself an Equus. And you can see this Dillo is already running away. Now the great thing about the Equus is that you don't need to wait as long in between strikes. You can see we've already knocked out one Dillo and these Dillos are surely to follow. You can see there the other one is out, 
and this third one will probably be out as soon as it's done running away from us. So the Equest is definitely a great mount to use to knock other creatures out. I have successfully knocked out Rexes myself with the Equest and it is much easier to use the Equest to knock things out than it is the Scorpion. These guys are absolutely great. You can knock Trikes out, you can knock Pteranodons out, even Rexes. We haven't had a chance to try it on Quetzals yet, obviously, because you can't get them to do the buck kick in the air while holding them with a Quetzal. So do take that into mind. But the Equest is definitely capable of taking on some of these stronger creatures on the Ark and knocking them out a lot faster. Just make sure that your Equus has plenty of health and its damage is decently high. This is a 150 tamed Equus. So this guy is rather powerful, and you can see that these trikes will easily be knocked out. I'm pretty sure that one there is already running away from us because of our torpor-inducing attack. Do take into mind, though, you can see that it's already out. We're just going to quickly jump off here and take a quick look at its torpor here. And you saw there, just in a matter of three kicks, the Equus was easily able to deal 535 torpor damage to that trike. These trikes here that are bugging us, we can easily fell them as well. You can see this one's had enough of us. He's running away and he's out like a light. Just make sure that you have plenty of stamina in order to be able to use the buck kick. That is the only downside to the Equus's kick, is that it expends quite a lot of stamina if you're not careful. You can actually knock your own Equus out because it's run out of stamina. This level 95 trikey, not gonna present a problem here because we will easily knock it out. You can see there, it's already running away from us because its torpor is that high and its fleeing instincts have kicked in. So it is away and out of here. This other trike, definitely going to run away. Just goes to show that the Equus is definitely a powerhouse when it comes to knocking other creatures out. And you should definitely have one of these guys as your beginning tank if you're too scared or you don't have enough resources to make narcotics and your arrows. Definitely get yourselves an Equus. At number three, we have the Argentivus, otherwise known as the RG. Now, ever since the TLC buff, the RG has received a huge boost in terms of what it can pick up. And that is essentially exactly why it is on this list, because of the creatures that it can pick up. This makes teaming up things a lot easier when you have an RG that is capable of picking up a lot of different mounts. The RG can now pick up Ankylos, Dodicaruses, which make taming them up a lot simpler and a lot easily. You just find them in the wild, pick them up, hide them back to your base, carry them back to your base. Oh god, Microraptors. Carry them back to your base, drop them in your taming pen, knock them out using your good old conventional methods, or have an Equus waiting for you even, and just... Where is our RG going? And just have an Equus waiting for you to, to knock them out without having to use your tranks and whatnot. So the RG is definitely a valuable tame to have and definitely assists in taming up other creatures because of its unique ability to carry so many other creatures. You know, you've got the Pteranodon as well, which can carry other creatures. However, it's not as useful and viable because the RG can carry a lot more than the Pteranodon and it's able to carry a lot larger creatures. Like I said, the Ankleo and the Dodicarus are just some of the creatures that the RG can carry. And it just makes taming a whole lot easier. So definitely invest in an RG if you don't have yourself one already. At number two, we have the Karkonos, the crab, the crab found in Aberration. This guy is absolutely wonderful. Well, not only does he have the ability to pick up other creatures that you can actually tame. Wait, what? You can't pick up trikes? Since when is that a thing? I thought you could always pick up trikes with the Karkonos. Well, turns out you can't pick up trikes with the Karkonos. You can, however, pick up Stegos, I hope, unless they've nerfed him and I don't know. No, you can still pick up the Stegos. So you can see that it makes complete sense that you're able to pick up Stegos and not trikes. So you can see there we have the ability to pick up very large creatures up to the size of a Stego. Unfortunately, you can't pick up Trikes, which is a bit strange to me. But you can essentially then carry these guys around and easily knock them out. All you need to do is obviously you can A, take them to a taming pen where your base is and it's more secure. Or you can just hop off the back of your Karkonos, load up your crossbow or your long neck rifle and just pound arrows into them from the back of your Karkonos. You can see here we're able to shoot the Stego and it's not able to do anything. You can see we're easily going to be able to knock it out using this method and you can easily use this method with larger carnivores, well, such as Karnos. Just make sure you whistle your Stego to passive otherwise you are going to lose it and not your Stego, your Karkonos, and make sure that you've killed all enemies in the area, otherwise they'll come back to Pestia like there's no tomorrow. So you can see here, 
our Karkonos just has a mind of his own. But you can see the Stego is trying to swing and fight back. You don't need to worry about this because the Karkonos easily has plenty of health in order to tank it. And as soon as you knock the creature out, it falls to the ground and the Karkonos drops it. Meaning you can pretty much tame anything that the Karkonos is able to hold. Which makes taming a whole lot easier in terms of arc because you easily have your own portable taming pen. And you can see that the Stego out like a light. No harm whatsoever. Very easy tames to do. And that is why the Karkonos is number two on this list. And finally, number one, the one you've all been waiting for is the Quetzal. The Quetzal is a great mount. Essentially, it's a giant version of the RG in terms of being able to pick a lot of stuff up. The Quetzal is the king of picking things up. Easily able to pick up the likes of Mammoths. That's right, Mammoths. I'm pretty sure that is the actual largest creature it can pick up in the game. It is also capable of picking up Woolly Rhinos, Stegos, Tarnos. I don't think it can pick up Allosauruses off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure it can't. But it picks these guys up easily. Now, the only downside to this is obviously their horrible flying speed. They fly terribly slow. However, if you've got two uh, Quetzals with you at the same time, you can easily turn one of the Quetzals into a portable taming pen by using a platform saddle and then building a small taming pen in it. Then you can easily use the other Quetzal to fly around, grab the stuff that you need, the dino that you need, bring it back to this portable taming pen, and you can easily tame up on the back of a Quetz. It makes taming a whole lot easier, and the Quetz is definitely the king in terms of picking things up and making life a heck of a lot easier due to it being able to pick up lots of things. And that concludes today's list of creatures that you can use to tame other creatures. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. Let me know if you've got any more top five videos you would like to see from me. Let me know down in the comments below. I would gladly do them for you guys. But other than that, thank you very much for watching and I hope to catch you in the next one.